Okay, good morning, everybody. Are we live now? Yep, great. That's lovely. Well, welcome, everybody. Sorry for the slight delay. Um, my name is Kate Robinson. I'm the University Librarian at the University of Bath in the UK and a member of the ITL board. Uh, and it's my great pleasure today to be the moderator for this session. For the next hour, we have the pleasure of two presentations. Uh, and the first one that we're going to be hearing about is the Students' Information Literacy Skills at the School of Communication, Administration and Tourism at Brabganca Polytechnic Institution, Portugal, uh, their evaluation and university library role. Um, before we get to that, I should mention that uh, we will be hopefully having a little time for questions at the end. Uh, and if you do have questions that occur to you as we go through this, if you could add them to the question and answer in the chat, and then we'll make sure that we get back to those uh, once the presentations are over. So I'll begin by introducing our two speakers for this first session. We have Lillian Estevez Gomez, who is going to begin the presentation for us. She has a PhD in information science and is an invited assistant professor at the Faculty of Arts and Humanities at the University of Coimbra, Department of Philosophy, Communication and Information. She, she is a mobility department coordinator and a coordinator of internships in information science and a member of the Culture, Space and Memory Transdisciplinary Research Committee. Liliana will be presenting uh, with Maritza Ferreira Borges, uh, Borges and uh, Marisa will then present the results of the study. Now, she has a Master's in Information Science from the Faculty of Arts and Humanities at the University of Coimbra, and she is a higher technician at the School of Communication, Administration and Tourism at Bogankadi Polytechnic University Institute, where she is responsible for their library service. So I'll pass over now to Liliana. Thank you, Kate. I'm going to share the presentation. Can you see the presentation? Thank you. Good morning to all. Uh, thank you very much for the opportunity to present this communication at the International Association of University Libraries Annual Conference. And con congratulations to all members of the organization. Uh, regarding the topic uh, of our communication, information literacy, Many organizations have put forward definitions. Uh, some examples are UNESCO, uh, the Society of College, National and University Libraries, a new curriculum for information literacy, the Association of College and Research Libraries, and the Chartered Institute of Library Information Professionals. According to the guidelines of the European Higher Education Area, abilities and skills related to research, evaluation, management, use and dissemination of information are required for the student's academic success. Higher education libraries play an important role in supporting teaching and research. However, those libraries are not the first choice to students' academic search. Nevertheless, uh, students um, nevertheless, uh, those libraries um, are not the first choice. However, uh, students are interested in accessing and using information when they are motivated to do so, for example, in the context of the study plans of the disciplines, as well as acquire or develop information literacy competencies. In this background, uh, a practical study was carried out at the School of Communication, Public Management and Tourism, exact, uh, from the Polytechnic Institute of Bragança, IPB in Portugal. Uh, the, the IPB is divided into five schools. Four are located in Bragança campus and one in Mirandela. Uh, the School of Agriculture, the School of Education, the School of Health, School of Technology and Management, and the ESACT. The ESACT uh, is an organic unit of IPV uh, functioning uh, in a new building 
since September 2016 in the city of Mirandela. It's about 60 kilometers from Braganza. The school offers courses in three areas, communication, public management, and uh, tourism. It uh, has seven superior professional technical courses, eight bachelors, and two masters, having a total of 1,428 students in the 2018-2019 school year. The ZAP library uh, is an extension of the, of the IPB's uh, documentation and library services, uh, which includes five libraries. Um, and his function is to support teaching research and its priority purpose is to provide access to scientific and documentary information resources necessary for the development of the academic community of IPB, as well as any other uh, people or institutions. Uh, as investigation strategy, a uh, combination of qualitative and quantitative methods was selected, a uh, mixed methods approach. In the case study, uh, the target population corresponds to the set of students who entered um, in the exact courses for the first time in the 2018-2019 school year. Data collection was carried out through a questionnaire applied in the classroom with the collaboration of teachers. This questionnaire is based on the studies by Pinto and Lopes and Pinto. The questionnaire I held UMass about information literacy was conceived and designed to evaluate information skills and to be applied to a population of students, teachers uh, and information professionals of different levels in the social uh, and human sciences area in the Spanish and Portuguese universities. It contains 26 items grouped into four categories, research, uh, evaluation, processing, and communication and information dissemination, and has three self-assessment dimensions, uh, importance, self-assessment, and favorite source of learning. The questionnaire applied was modified. Uh, some items were adapted for a better understanding of the questions by the students and three questions about informational needs and four questions to characterize the sample were added. The treatment of the collected data was carried out in SPSS software performing uh, descriptive and inferential, inferential analysis. Finally, uh, interviews were carried out with the exact teachers and the coordinator of the documentation and library services. The interview guide designed uh, intended to distinguish the perception, perception of respondents in relation to the needs acquisition of information literacy skills by students. Marisa Borges presents now the results of the study. Uh, the results of the study. Marisa, you need to unmute. Marisa, just at the bottom of the screen, there's Hello. a little microphone button. If you just click that. Hello. Good. I think we can hear you. Good morning. Yes, we can hear you now, Marisa. Thank you. 
um, regarding the result of the study. On the 600 student enrolling, 12,562 response were obtained the sample represents 194.4% of the population. Of the students who participate in this, in this research, most are corresponding to 154.6% of the sample. Each of the students varies between 18 and 45 years old. 19 years old is the most frequent age. The most frequent course by respondent is soliciting 18 students in the second and third level, the public management and administration course and the tourism course stand out. Most, most students attended a BA degree, 78.6%, with 15.8% attend superior profession technical courses and 5.5% taking a master degree. Okay. The results of descriptive analysis and internal consistency about motivation commitment show that factor for communication and dissemination of information has a good internal consistency, 0813 At the global level, the three items that present the highest level of motiv motivation commitment are item 5, item 6, and item 4. Okay. The results of the descriptive, uh, descriptive analysis and internal consistency regarding to self-efficacy allows to conclude that factor 1 and 4 have good internal consistency. Students self-evaluate themselves with more skills in the information research and evaluation factors. Students self-evaluate with less skills in the factor three and four with emphasis on the heightened knowing how to use bibliograph reference managers and note, medley and Zotero. Okay. The learning source most used by students to develop information skills is classes. 52.9% with emphasis on the item 5, knowing the terminology of the study area. Self-learning and 31.6%, the library 3 points on percent is a hundred utilized source of learning. However, 5.5% use source of learning to now the legislation on the use of information and intellectual property. Heighten 24. 5.3% for consulting and using electronic source of information. Heighten 3 and 5.2% for identifying different type, types of scientific documents. Item 11. Regard skills to be developed, stand out in autonomy, the develop of critical thinking and the teamwork. The information technology highlighted by students to be used in the teaching learning of information skills, hard search engines, and electronic database. The majority of students nine forms of training to improve their information skills. Thus, you respond, refer mostly to seminars, lectures, and workshops. Most students consider them, themselves motivated to develop information literacy skills by applying the Friedman test. The level of motivation is equal among the four factors. 
with factor 1 information reserves having a level of motivation significantly higher than the other factors. However, a percentage of motivation deficit was verified in factor 2 in the computing and marketing courses, in factor 1 in the communication and journalism and tourism courses, in the tourism and tourism courses, in four the social service, book registration and marketing. This are the focus for training in uh, playing the five main test the information research and the information evaluation factors have a significantly higher self efficacy than the other factors particularly the highest self-efficacy deficit, deficit is in factor 3 in the courses of sales management, tourism promotion, multimedia, solicitorship and municipal administration. In factor 4 in the sales management, tourism promotion, communication and journalism and solicitorship courses. In the factor 1 in the courses of digital communication, sales management, legal service and multimedia. In factor two, in the courses of digital communication, sales management, multimedia and muni municipal administration. Okay. With clusters, analysis on motivation and self-efficacy for clusters A, B, C, D, were identified across the sociodemography to vary the association between clusters and academic level but not significant with genders or age. We can associate cluster A with students attending the STESP and master, mostly female, age over 25 years, special attending the sales management, tourism promotion, multimedia and municipal administration courses. The cluster B is more associated with undergraduate students, mostly female, and age between 20 and 24 years old from the computing, the communication and journalism, digital game design and marketing courses. Uh, the cluster C tends to be associated with male students from tourism promotion, digital game design solicitorship and tourism courses. The cluster D are mostly male students between 18 and 21 years old from the courses in digital communication, legal service, public administration, management, multimedia and tourism marketing. In summary, we present a comparative table uh, of the results between the present study and the previous study by Lopes and Pinto regarding the competence considered most and least important as a well as a best and worst acquired skills. Regarding the results of the interviews carried out, the teachers consider the library, the library as an important resource for accessing knowledge and as in the teaching and learning process. They recognize the importance of ill and information skills development. They ensure that they address this theme in the research methodologies, course unit. However, superficially and that the librarian's participation in this class will be an excellent help and a way to promote library service. The formal introduction 
uh, of ill a course of discipline in the current curriculum is regarded with some hesitation by teachers who consider extracurricular training and an alternative. In the last year, a library training program was developed with a focus on practical approach and relate with study plans of the discipline. Online training action during the COVID pandemic were performed and now massive open uh, online courses uh, are be being implemented. In conclusion, a higher percentage in the self-efficacy deficit than in the motivation deficit was when, uh, was identified in the case study present. So it can be concluded that exact students are motivated to learn EL skills, but have a little mastery of them. Thus, a training program was developed with execution, the Hill training program, the exact library is more dynamic and in nervous units in the academic, uh, academic community. Finally, it is also intended to contribute to optimize and adapt the information resource available at exact library. Given the identity needs of user to suggest a segment training programs to be made available by EPB documentation and library service and to promote in students the proper use of the library in its physical and online dimension. Thank you. Muito obrigada. Thank you very, very much. That's utterly fascinating. What a wonderfully detailed study. Um, so thank you, Liliana, and thank you, Marisa. Um, we're moving now to um, the um, second and final presentation of this particular session. Uh, and we are going to be hear hearing from Luisa Baptista, who is talking to us about choosing readings, Portuguese academic library users' opinion about the preferences for printed books or e-books. Luisa is a librarian with a degree in chemistry, an MSc in archives, libraries and information science sciences, and a PhD in information sciences and documentation. She's worked in several academic libraries and is a member and a researcher of, I'm not too sure how to pronounce this, I think it's CEDUS um, at the University of Avera. Do please correct me if that's not right, Louisa. CEDUS. Okay, sorry about that. Her interests are quality assessment, impact and value of libraries, open access and open science. Over to Louisa. Hello. Good, no good morning. Um, Please can share my presentation. Thank you so much. Well, I'm speaking from Lisbon and um, uh, I'm happy to participate in this uh, uh, conference. And I hope uh, next, uh, soon, soon next uh, year or next, uh, to meet uh, some co uh, colleagues. It's important in, in these things. So I'm going to present a communication about uh, um, uh, choosing the, the preferences uh, of reading print books and uh, books from Luisa Batista Mialu, Tatiana Sanchez, Isabel uh, Isabel Sá, Isabel Sá, I can see the, the, the PowerPoint all, because, uh, okay, Is it, yes, thank you. Now, um, I present a literature review, methods, results, uh, qualitative data, discussion and conclusions. Next slide, please. Um, on December 2000, uh, in uh, well, I can see all the slides. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Luis, can you help me? Uh, 
On December uh, 2019, new coronavirus status circulation, which identify in um, China and cause COVID-19. In Portugal, successive uh, states of emergency, uh, prohibitions of exits to road, lockdowns in commerce, companies, schools, universities, to risk uh, restrictions between regi regions between countries. Next slide, please. In this context, remote working, e-commerce, and the, the development of uh, uh, activities over the internet are benefit from it. The public service and the university libraries are not exception. They need to find uh, ways and develop new solutions to facilitate access to information and uh, support users. The main aim of these this studies is what impact the COVID-19 pandemic had on the uh, behavior readings of books and e-books in a Portuguese academic population. Next slide, please. Um, well, about uh, literature review, in the face of the COVID-19 pandemic scenario and the social isolation to uh, which everyone has been subject to professionals from different areas, including teachers, students, were suddenly confined. The solution for uh, teaching activities was distance learning, emergency remote teachings. A study reveals that more than 18% of students feel well or very well physically, a positive fact that is far from being accompanied by a psychological well-being that was much, much, sorry, uh, that was more fragile revealing the almost all of the students manifest feelings bad, bad or very bad psychology. A recent study on the response of public uh, libraries in Portugal, the pandemic period due to COVID uh, has emerged libraries to adopt new ways to work in time of lockdown, using information and communication technologies, name uh, uh, social media like Facebook. In interests in the impact of the pandemic on library service and on the uh, reading habits and preferences uh, its use has been emerging all around the world, even leading some authors to claim free access to e-books. Another, another author uh, summarized the main change, support for the population in solidarity, facilities of access information, maintaining the maintenance of the service, digital migration of service, arrangements of workspaces, consisting about health and property hygiene, containing, uh, com combating disinformation, uh, external co collaborations uh, to public health uh, agents, and new partnerships with the industry, including publishers. The interest of uh, library use to reading digital contents, in particular his book, has emerged from the reading more contents. Users have found a unique way to involve them in various, uh, in various ways, uh, leisure and hobby, to maintain a good balance 
uh, mental health conditions during the isolation and the lockdowns. This study aims at uh, an, analyzing the impact of the COVID-19 on the uh, behavioral trends regarding a sex to reading with a focus on the type of support, paper and digital. And uh, is developing a partnership with the Institute. This work is a, a collaboration with uh, some um, I institutions, University of Porto and the University of Lisbon, uh, Faculty of Dentistry and Institute of Education from Lisbon, and Faculty of Science from Porto. The instrument used uh, is a questionnaire with nine closed questions and an open question. The indicators used are gender, age, um, library type, uh, attended, kind of use, professor, student, researcher, etc. Uh, characteris characterizations of printed book, characterization of printed book devices used for ebooks, reading, reading preference in the digital printed format reading habits changing uh, during the COVID-19 pandemic and the open question. Next slide, please. Well, the sample, some results, the sample is composed by uh, 263 responses from uh, um, 27% uh, male and 73% uh, female. Next uh, slide, please. Uh, the group with most responses is between uh, 80 years old and uh, 24 years old, responding to the university students. Next up, please. Please, thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, the most responders use more academic libraries. As another result, 81% uh, of the respondents prefer to read paper books, while 19% uh, uh, stated that they like to read ebooks. Well, here we can see, I can see clearly the, the table, but are the, the results from characteristics of uh, formats. Next slide. Uh, next, uh, and here the results uh, of the responses obtained to the question, which indicate to what extent your reading habits have changed due to the pandemic uh, of COVID. Um, in the discussion of results, I, I, I speak a, a little about of these results. Next, next slide, please. Here is another result. You can see, in the, if you are interested, you can uh, read the paper more carefully. Uh, next, so uh, I'm going to present the discussion of the results. The symbol of this study is mostly female, 73%, and uh, male, 20%. Uh, seven percent from the academic university population. These data are in uh, accordance with the uh, reality. In recent years, more women and uh, men are, uh, have graduated from the uh, School of Higher Education in Portugal. Now the result, eight. Uh, one percent of the respondents prefer to read paper books, while um, nineteen stated that they like to read e-books. This data reveals 
that contrary to what could be Jagat, with the advent of digital technology in the COVID-19 pandemic time, a large majority of people prefer reading on paper, books. Uh, the, range, the age range of the sample is from uh, 18 to uh, 78 years old. However, it is evidence that the greatest predominance of the respondents is in the uh, 18 uh, and the 74 age range which characterize high education students. On the characteristics related to books and e-books, the data reveals that the book um, are uh, the book are cheaper and easier to use, while e-books are easier to care, cause more uh, eye strain, and result. Um, in a greater lack of concentration. The data from this case study shows the solid evidence of reading habits in a, a pandemic uh, period uh, relation between printed and the digital material. In academics population, um, uh, st uh, students must uh, uh, read more material digital and uh, read more uh, um, uh, read more information such as news and study so the uh, so they prefer digital materials to read for studies and to read news. In, um, uh, on the other hand, uh, to read uh, information uh, to ledger, uh, the academic uh, population prefer read uh, books, paper, material paper. Uh, this is a study in Portugal. In other studies, namely in Brazil, leisure reading increased with the lockdown of the COVID-19 pandemic. In the study carried out on a Portuguese academic population, University of Lisbon, University of Porto, during, during the COVID-19 pandemic period, it was found that the choice of reading um, medium varies uh, fundamentally according to the objectives of information used in electronic format. It is to, to study uh, teaching, learning, and current news. Printed format, on the other hand, is more likely to leisure uh, time reading. Digital documents have proven to be less uh, wasteful of uh, resources in smaller ecological footprint, have greater accessibility, greater portability, speed and convenience, the need for extensive reading devices, and greater uh, propense to uh, scatter in ice strand. Uh, these finds cover with uh, a study conducted in uh, 2020, the period just before the pandemic times. Next. Thank you. The, this research reveals that printed books were characterized by pleasure and uh, physical and lingual experience, easy of reading and sincere pleasure, lower accessibility, of copies and lower speed of uh, updating contents. Also, interesting advantage can be observed in the use of e-books. Uh, the study consistent with previous research 
we indicate that in Portugal there is still a preference for printing books uh, over digital books. It should be underlined that e-books gain more relevance in the times of pandemic for studying and learning. Well, uh, we thank to the Foundation of Science and Technology, the, the sport, and uh, you can <laughs> go on. Uh, the reference, if uh, you... And thank you so much to, to, to all of you um, and the picture from uh, Porto. <laughs> Thank you, Louisa. That leaves us with a really beautiful image there as well. That was fascinating. Thank you very much for that. Um, Thank you. There are no questions at the moment in the chat. I wonder if anybody has anything in particular they might like to ask any of our speakers. I think this might be testament to just how thorough and well explained your research has been. I think that's a huge amount of information for us to digest. So thank you very, very much for that. Um, if there are no questions, um, Louise, would we? Ah, here we go. I have a question uh, for Louisa. Louisa, were you surprised by the results? Uh, because uh, we saw uh, that uh, the e-books... Uh, emerge a lot and um, in some way uh, people and the, the from academic uh, population like uh, to read books uh, um, principally for uh, p pleasure they like to read books okay and Viola is saying that she thinks that that's probably the same in German students as well Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's nice to, to know. Thank you so much. Anybody else have anything that they'd like to ask of our speakers? Let's wait for a moment in case somebody's typing. On the other end, uh, please. So I can uh, say that on the other end, um, in another studies from uh, other countries, from Brazil, uh, academic students um, read more and more in the lockdown uh, to, for pleasure to, because uh, they cannot uh, go out in the roads, in the beach, and uh, read is a good reason to have uh, a good time, yes, to have a good time, good thoughts, and it's good for uh, mental uh, health. That's a real positive, it's isn't it? It's important to read. And uh, um, it's uh, amazing to, to see that uh, uh, some uh, students and young people uh, get... Uh, this way to spend the time in, in these uh, different times. Yeah. So it's an excellent way to escape, isn't it? And to travel to places when you can't travel in any other way. Yes. Well, I think really that um, takes us to this place. It's nice, very nice, positive to end on. And uh, if you would um, join with me in thanking our speakers very much for some very comprehensive and extremely interesting presentations. So thank you very much, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you.